This is my little home office wall shelf and I absolutely love it. It's sapwood spotted gum for the top shelf, spotted gum for the frame and black butt for the drawers. I made this shelf because I work from home and I spend 10 to 12 hours a day in this room. So because I spend so much time in this room, I really want to fill it up with projects that I've made so that it becomes more of a reflection of me. That way when I'm in here working away, I'll be able to look around, see all these projects and just smile and feel happy that I made them. If you'd like to see the full build video for this project, then you can head over to my own channel, The Woodfather, and you'll be able to see it there. But in this video on Timpicon's channel, I thought what I might do is focus more on the drawers and how I cut the half blind dovetails for them using the Incra LS positioner on the router table. Now the drawers I've made are held together with half blind dovetails and this one here is literally the first one I ever cut using the Incra LS positioner. I guess the best way of thinking about it is that the LS positioner is a super duper fancy pants router fence. Very accurate and very repeatable. So much so you can set up a cut and then six months later you can dial in the same settings and recreate it down to the millimeter. So here we go, I have some lengths of black butt, which are nice and square, and I want to turn them into a drawer using half blind dovetails. When you get the Incra, you also get an entire bag full of templates. There are heaps of instructions and tips that come in the guidebooks that come with the Incra as well, and with the two of them together, you'll be able to pick out the perfect template for whatever project you're working on. In this particular case, I'm going to use the template marked MDOV10. All that means is it's the metric template for dovetails, and it's the 10th one. However, this video is not meant to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Incra jig, so I am going to skip over a fair bit of detail. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you want to see detailed step-by-step -step videos on making particular joints, or if you just want to see general projects and ideas to see what you can use this jig for. For the half blinds in my project, I need to cut a six mil channel across the back of the tail boards. I'm going to do that in a couple of passes to try and avoid tear out. The positioner comes with this right angle fixture, which helps you securely push your workpieces through the bit. This part might look a little bit confusing, but all I'm doing is following the template. I position the sights on the jig over the markings on the template and make my cuts. And just like that, I've got my tail boards all done. To make the pin boards, I don't touch the router height, I don't touch the templates or anything else like that. The only change I need to make is I'm gonna add the Incra stop into position to make sure that I don't cut the pin holes too deep. After cutting one of the pins, all I have to do is test it out and see if I've gone deep enough. If I have, great. If I haven't, I just adjust the stop and cut it again. The only real difference is now when I'm following the template, instead of cutting on the A cuts, I'm going to cut on the B cuts. And basically that just means that everything's going to fit together nicely at the end. With all that cut, I can test the fit out. Too easy. I guess the next step in this project is to route out a channel so that I can put a plywood base in the bottom of these little drawers. And then once they're all glued and finished up, I can go and mount the shelf in the home office and, you know, enjoy it. The finish I've used here is just some wipe on poly and I can't believe the difference that it made. It actually looks like two completely different pieces of wood when you look from this angle. 
Now, make sure you subscribe to both Timbercons and the Woodfathers channels to catch future videos on the Inca jig. I've got plenty more coming. If you want to learn more about the jig, head down to Timbercon or check out the links down below.